come to OSG and end up getting to World's Strongest Man. There's been so many. There's been all too many. But for the athletes looking to find the path forward, it's paved right in front of them. You just have to take charge and seize that glory. Putting yourself through these immense trials of strength here today. This is massive. Heavy. <laughs> massive. Heavy, heavy weights. This is heavier than some pro shows. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. And we have eight kegs on top of that apparatus. And Alex yeah. Kopp, uh, a man who doesn't have many weaknesses but is coming back from an injury sustained a, couple, uh, a year or two ago. Spencer starting strong. Spencer has some very strong shoulders. Gartner on four already. Tinsman on six. But Remick is in the lead on eight so far. Just starting to slow down now. He's going to take a rest to hit nine all out. That's pretty good. Now if he can use this time and get himself a couple more reps... That'll be the perfect start for Spencer. I don't think he's too worried about chasing the 14 reps, but if he can get himself into a clear second place, he's got it a in double. Him. This puts him in joint second. He needs one more rep. He's going to be happy with that. Oh, we've got athletes. Oh, this looks nasty. Tinsman just on the floor there. I'm not sure what happened. We need some medics for him. Three, two. One. Remick, 12 reps. Boris, 14 for Tyler, 12 for Spencer. Also a tie in second place with Spencer and Tim Buck. Nathan Goldtree. Look how many reps. athletes there on 10 reps. The entire screen is populated with double digits right now. <laughs> but we have one, two, three, four, five, ten, six athletes showing on screen right now that tied for 10. All right, we have our final heat. Laws, who do we have there? We've got Nathan Goltry, Spencer Remick, last year's runner-up, Tim Buck, and Tyler Obringer. Tyler, I was talking to him, he won the first event. He says the Farmer's Walk is his favorite event. And he, he was kind of having a bit of back and forth with Nick Best. I think Nick's time was around the 15 second mark in the over 50s. So Tyler said that's his time to beat. He wants to beat Nick Best's time. Let's, Let's see. see how he does. An exciting new athlete to the international scene. And look at this race. Spencer Rimmick is reminding people why he's been there and done it before. As is Goltry. Goltry in This the is lead. a race between these three athletes. Tyler goes down. Goltry and oh, Spencer Remick. Spencer Remick. I think barely. Spencer Remick takes it just. And <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you don't want to get in the way of those shoulders when they come together right there, but. Can we get a time for that? That is going to, I would love to see a slow motion replay of that if we're able to. All right, there we have it. Our men's open scores in first place. Jocko Schoenwinkel, 15.65 seconds. Spencer Remick, 16.31. Nathan Goltry, only 0 0.07 seconds behind in third. And Matthew Rag, 16.47. And Oscar <laughs> Zielkowski, 16.91. Lucas Hatton, 16.93. Look at that. Is that's five, five athletes, athletes all in 16 seconds and fractions. Spencer Rimmick, last year's runner up, currently top of the pack, 85 and a half points. Nathan Goltry in second place on 83 and Yako Schoenwinkel third place 81.5 points. Three athletes so far over 80 points. Remick is no stranger to the axle deadlift. Uh, see, he routinely trains snatch grip axle to build that upper back strength. Rimmick is proving he's a great all-round athlete as well. There's been no weakness so far. He's picking up points on every single event. And that is key. Shun Winkle moving very well in lane four. Winkle was so impressive on the farmer's walk. Look at this. In South Africa have a history of big deadlifters. Eric Badenhorst, former world record holder from South Africa. Chris Shoot. Vanderlyn, currently in South Africa. A yeah, big Another puller. huge deadlifter. Unfortunately, fell a bit short at the World Deadlift Championships, but we know he's good for 1,000 pounds. Yeah. And now Schumwinkel is on eight reps. But look closest to us, Rag on 10 reps. Spencer Rag. hits 10 reps. Wow, some in absolutely incredible lifting. Rag, 11 repetitions. I was focused on the far end, and I looked across. I saw he was on double figures. Still pulling strong for that 11th rep. Gets himself the outright win. 
Wow. Just wow. What an exciting class this is turning out to be. Last year's runner-up, currently top of the table, Spencer Remick on 128 points. Matthew Rag, 122 and a half. The pressure is on by Roy Orantia in Spen lane two. Yeah, Orantia, very impressive. Rag, a big, strong man, hailing from New Zealand in lane four. And Gregory, the American. The first to get the down command in lane one, but all four men advance. Gregory is showing some strength. Remick with a fumble, costly in Remick lane three. Remick just looks like he's struggling to get down to the sandbag a little bit. Maybe some stiffness in that back like we spoke about. A he's double, got the belt A on. double belt, you know, a leather, a leather belt and a soft belt. I don't Gregory know if looking very good in lane number one. He's Rag, on. right behind him, Orantia. Gregory's close, he's got a fight. Gets Gregory the gets fourth. it. Big points for Gregory. Matthew Rag on the way up. Five seconds. Wow. We're going to see some points shift. I wonder what happened Once with Remick. Yako Shunwinkel, first place. All four bags in 26.57 seconds. Look at that. Tom Evans did inch out Wes Claiborne. Four bags in 27.25 seconds. Wesley Claiborne, four bags in 28.89 seconds. And a bit of a spread there between Wesley and Josh Gregory, who is in fourth place. Four bags in 34.71 seconds. But wow, Tim Buck, only 0 .07 seconds behind Gregory to get all four bags. And they are the only five athletes out of our men's open to successfully complete the series so all the way remind through. Us, that was a 170 kilo sandbag, 375 pounds. Incredible. Incredible, but look. I the need time. to see who our top ten are, though. Yes, they are teasing I, I, us. I'm biting at the chops <laughs> to see this. And who knows? As we move on to this final category, and well, buckle up, get ready, because the car walk is going to get supercharged now. 453 and a half kilos, 1,000 pounds is what we're dealing with now. It's uh, Tyler Obringer on the far side. Up against Spencer Remick, a well-known face to the OSG family and indeed international strongman. And it's Remick who gets the great start there. If he gets no drops, this is a great run for Remick. And he does it. Absolute class act is Spencer Remick this year. Remick, our leader with 11.03 seconds, setting the pace for every athlete left to follow. Our results come through for the men's open. It's Spencer Remick, half a second ahead of Jaco Schoonwinkel of South Africa in second. This is the overall scores after five events. It's Jaco Schoonwinkel, three points ahead of Spencer Remick, who put in a tremendous performance there. And it shows you how quickly this can turn around still. Two events to come. Matthew Rag sits in third position, 33 and a half points, and uh, that is a cool four points ahead of Nathan Goltry. Lucas Hatton then, three points back from him. Just For sure, our new event leader. Oh, without question. Lucas Hatton, four <laughs> dumbbells in 24.07 seconds. Is this the fastest time we've seen all day? It's definitely up there. One rep every six seconds across the ladder, including the footwork between it's each one. It's certainly the fastest with such a heavy set of dumbbells. Schoenwinkel and Remick, lanes and one and two. two. Both men vying for that top spot. Remick has been so consistent all weekend. Remick is a very strong overhead presser as well. Has excelled in certain areas. Let's see how he does on the dumbbell here. He's ahead right now. And he gets the 220. He's going to score good points again. He moves on to the 240 first. Spencer needs to keep his head. Spencer just needs to focus on his lane. Oh, Schoenwinkel misses it. Here's Spencer's opportunity. And Spencer. he takes it. Whoa. Now Schoenwinkel needs to compose himself. Just focus on getting this dumbbell. Big South African. Really showing what he's capable of. The dumbbell has just got the better of him so far. Wow. Spencer Remick completing the series, staying persistent well, and that accurate. That showed Spencer's uh, you know, experience right there. He focused on his lane, wasn't distracted by his opponent being ahead of him, just concentrating on each implement in front of him. And Here is our standing, Lucas 24. Hatton. But Tim Buck very close with 25 and a half seconds. We, our eyes were on Lucas Hatton, but Tim Buck was just a fraction behind. A phenomenal performance. Ziolkowski and Remick narrowly behind, especially Ziolkowski. 
But let's see how this affects the overall standings for our men's open. Schoenwinkel still with a one point lead over Remick, but one point is not much at this point going into the stones. Lucas Hatton and Matthew Rag tied for third currently, but only one point ahead of Tim Buck. So what this means is you've got a real battle for first and second place and then another battle going on for the podium. But Spencer Remick, even though he is a point behind, he just needs to beat Schoenwinkel because on the stones it comes down to, if it's a tie, it comes down to who wins the last event. That's the rule they're going with. So really, it's a shootout on the stones. I think Spencer has it. I think coming off of that Giants Live debut earlier this year gives him that edge that he needs to do what needs to be done. USA versus South Africa, the last two men. This is for the win. Who wants it more? Who wants that top spot at the open official straw man Yako, games? fast with the one motion. Spencer a little cautious. And that'll cost him if he's not too careful. He needs speed on this. A third one motion from Schoenwinkel. Schoenwinkel finally lapping the stone and going to a two-phase lift. 400. Fifth stone onto the tower. Oh, what a fumble. A fumble. This is Spencer's window this of opportunity. He needs to seize it. He needs this. This is where consistency pays off. Remick, Very 400 good. to tower. That 425 stone. Schoenwinkel is gassed. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Spencer Remick, 425. The Giants live debut showing itself here with Remick. And there it and is, we have it. Stone. Spencer Remick clears the six stone series. We will have to see where the points lie. But Schoenwinkel missing that six stone is very costly. And I believe with a 54.33 finish for Remick. Come from behind victory for Remick. That was winning in style right there. Spencer there Remick, it is. number one, with 52 points, our victor here at the official Strongman Games, Yako Schoenwinkel of South Africa, with 49 points behind Remick for a second place finish, and Matthew Rag, New Zealand's strongest man, in third place. And today's champion with a clutch six stone load, earning his spot to a Giants Live show representing the United States, Spencer Remick.